In this tutorial in CyberLink Power Director, I'd like to give you some tips for solving a problem that sometimes appears when you chroma key a graphic image. Let me give you the context. We have a commercial here promoting a candy company sale. I'll play a few seconds of it. We have a music track, we have some decent titling, but we'd like to add a little bit more through a graphic. So what I'm going to do is take the graphic in the media room, this save word, and drag it down and drop it into track two. We'll have it pop up a little bit into the project. Then we'll resize it, and then we'll move it over to the upper left corner of the screen. Now, when we go ahead and use this, it looks pretty good to start with. I'll go ahead and play it, and it pops up, but you notice it's got that white border around it and I really don't want to do that so oftentimes what we'll do is we'll solve the problem with a little chroma key first of all I'm going to make this a little bit longer and then we're going to double click on it that will get us into our pip designer and once we're in our pip designer what we're going to do is drag down in the properties go to chroma key click the blue box click on the picture of the eyedropper and then drag and drop it on the white outline and the white outline becomes transparent and everything seems to look good I'll click on OK but you notice I have another problem here you notice the word save because it was white is also transparent now that's no problem until I have some candy that shows up behind the word save over here on the left side it's, it's okay to be transparent, but the more I move through my project, the more it's not giving me the kind of effect I want. So how can I solve that? Well, let me show you a solution that I found. I'll give myself a little more margin here. I'm going to take my graphic here and drag it down to a lower track because I need another track above it. And then we're going to go to our media content and go to color boards. I'll drag down and pick white. I could pick any color I want. This will be the color of the letters save. So what I'm going to do, let's let, make me widen it just a little bit, and then we're going to double click on it. That gets us into the pip designer for the color board. Now what I'd like to do first of all is dial the opacity back a little so I can see through it to position it better. And then we're going to resize the color board. and rotate it. And I'll actually enlarge the screen so I can see better. And we'll make it so that it basically, we have to turn off maintain aspect ratio too here. I'll resize it so it only covers the letters of the word save. Then we'll put the opacity back to 100% and click on OK. And now the white, and I could use any color I wanted to, is behind the word save. I still have my chroma key in effect, but it basically has given me a background behind the letters. So now no matter what rolls behind the icon, the word save no longer looks transparent. It still is but behind it the white shows. So that's a simple way to solve that problem that sometimes occurs when you're working in chroma key effect for a graphic in PowerDirector. 